Hey guys, it's Suzanne. I am back with a Dollar Tree haul. This is actually a um, haul from two different Dollar Trees I went to yesterday. And so I'll just jump right in with some food items. I got these golden crust Jamaican style patties. This is the chicken. Um, I have the spicy beef in the freezer. I ate this for lunch today and um, if you are on Facebook and you are in the Dollar Tree Hauls group, you will find some pictures of what the product looked like and some of my thoughts on it. So just check that out. Um, I kind of left it on the comment board as I was still deciding on if I would repurchase or not. I don't think I will. Anyway. I also found one of these huge Betty Crocker bowls with the easy seal, so I grabbed one of those. This is a 12 cup, 96 fluid ounce size, so that's a good good size. They don't usually have the larger ones at my Dollar Tree. I also saw these Waffle Works waffle snacks. These are just some um, chocolate waffle sandwiches. Uh, there's two one ounce servings in a package so just thought I'd give those a try something caught my eye of course it's food of course it caught my eye <laughs> speaking of food products I found the Duncan Hines summer velvets so there's a package for the red velvet and a package for the blue velvet in here so I was excited to get that for a dollar and I also thought I would try this Loretta pasta salad it's the bonus size of 24 25% more in there and I got the ranch and bacon flavor so I have not tried this brand before and um, I think it's Betty Crocker maybe that has a brand that I've tried of the bacon and ranch that I really like so I thought I'd try this for a bucket and I think this is the last food item I picked up was uh, the Pampa's uh, sweet banana peppers I like to put these on my salads in the summer so grabbed another jar of those they have a really long, these are good until July 2017, so pretty long expiration date on that. Some of my household things I got, I did pick up another refill of the um, Claire and Danver hand soap. This is in the Berry Delicious. I still have a, a bag of the Apple Fields under the sink, but I like the Berry Delicious as a change. I picked up two tubes of the triple antibiotic ointment. A uh, co-worker asked if I saw it to grab it for her. Um, her Dollar Tree hasn't had any in a while. The expiration dates are good until, they're both good till 3:17. so I grabbed her two. She didn't really say how many she wanted. Got some lip balm products. I picked up the Blistics and the Orange Mango Blast. I picked up Rainbow Nerds. I got the Chap Ice. These were buy two, get one free. So three tubes in there. I think they're two watermelon and one blue raspberry. I got the blue, berry blue flavored of the Jelly Belly. And I also picked up these Peppermints Color Changing Mood Lip Balm. It's a cute little googly eyed girl on there and they change from those two colors. I think there's one more here. It's also, oh I thought it was the Peppermint's brand also. It is, if I can get to it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. So now you know what my ceiling fan looks like. Um, the Spirit Gloss and this is in the Cotton Candy. So that's all the lip balms I got. Moving on to makeup, I picked up the LA Colors Powder Blush in the Peach Rose. I think that looks a lot darker than it is on there. I grabbed one of these Wet n Wild in the Cream Brulee. I've purchased that before, so um, I like that color. It's complimentary to some of the darker colors I have singles of. I grabbed this just to keep in my um, overnight bag. It's the nail polish remover pads. There's just 32 in them, so it's really not a steal, but again, to be able to carry that in an overnight bag, 
not have to have the big bottle. Perfect. My Dollar Tree is finally getting that white rain that I think people were hauling six months ago. Um, I picked up the daily foot and hand cream, or heel cream, excuse me. So grab that to try. I also got a bottle of the VO5 Herbal Escape Shampoo. This is the Kiwi Lime Squeeze. It smells delicious. <laughs> so pick that up. And I got myself a pack of headbands. Um, I think they're calling them head wraps now. So I got those. They're two navy, two white and gray, one or two black and white as well. My um, bloom for my car is no longer scenting, so I picked up this Aerometrics for the car. This is in Floral Fantasy. It's not a really super strong floral. Um, there is a little smell scent um, contraption down here, so you could smell it prior to purchase. So I got that for the car. I picked up this calendar for next year um, to put in my car. Uh, you may remember I had purchased a dry erase board calendar for my car um, so I could put like my week's to-dos on there. I just didn't really like it and as the summer went on it was harder and harder to erase the things off of it um, probably because of the heat I would suppose. So I thought this would just work better, and I like that it's a flip over. So, got that. Plus it's got a really cute pattern on it. I think that's really adorable. I picked up more of these clips for the Critter Cage. I also got some glue dots for work. I picked up three packs of those, so I'll have to remember to take my receipt in to get reimbursed. I found this cute little fan for work. Um, I'm the hot person. The other day I said I'm really hot and everybody looked at me like I was a maniac. So I knew better than to go turn the air conditioner up or on. It wasn't even on. But anyway, I got this for my little, by my computer and it, it really puts out a good breeze. So I think that'll be nice when I'm hot and nobody else is. And then, as you can see, I purchased the batteries. This was actually a two, um, purchase two, get one battery free, so grab that for a dollar. They had some that just had the two in it, but why would you buy that one when you could get three? So, obviously, I already put two in the fan. I also picked up a card. A friend of mine is in the hospital, so I thought I would put this in. She's in intensive care, I guess you can send cards there. I'm hoping you can. Um, maybe I should send it to her house and her husband will take it to the hospital. Maybe that's what I'll do. Does anybody know? Can you send stuff to intensive care units? She had a clot in her lungs and nobody knew about it. My mom actually works with her and through the school chain, that's how we found out about it. So, cause it happened over summer break. So anyway, I got this cute little card um, just to let her know that I'm thinking of her. So maybe I'll send it to the house. That's what I'll do. Sorry for the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I picked up this book, Lark. Um, the cover I thought was just striking. It's a uh, about, let's see, let me just read it. Haunting, poetic, and tender, this tragic story is filled with insights into the plight of young women trying to grow up in a dangerous, painful world and with the hope and healing that connection and love can provide. So, I thought it would be an interesting read. It says it's about a 16-year-old um, girl who's kidnapped from her home and left to die in the forest. So, we'll see how it goes. Just a couple more things. I picked up um, two of these dish drying mats. Um, I'm actually going to use those to feed the critter on so he can have his food. He likes to eat on the kitchen floor. And it's, um, I can put these down. He can probably eat two meals off of one before I have to throw it in the washer. So that'll work. 
And then I got a couple uh, towels, kitchen towels, um, to use in his cage as well. So I think that is it. Actually, I see one more thing, and it's a food item. I got some more of the strawberry um, bars. They're a knockoff of Fig Newtons, but they're really delicious. And um, if you haven't tried them and you like strawberry, I do suggest these. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend and staying out of trouble and enjoying beautiful weather wherever you are. Have a great one. Bye.